Let's get to Vladimir Putin now. Bold claims from the Russian president who's using an animated video to tout how his country's developed a new set of strategic nuclear weapons. He claims they would render U.S. and European missile defense systems useless. Now his comments being dismissed by the White House. U.S. defense capabilities are and will remain second to none. And now, because of the new defense budget of $700 billion, our military will be far stronger than ever. As the president's nuclear posture review made clear, America is moving forward to modernize our nuclear arsenal and ensure our capabilities are unmatched. We bring in now Major General Don Alston to talk more about this. He's a retired member of the U.S. Air Force and a former commander of the U.S. Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Force. General, good to see you. Thank you very much for coming on. In My pleasure. Thank you. Looking through uh, Vladimir Putin's comments, I think he talks about five weapons, but this one that's getting the most attention, it seems, is this cruise missile, low-flying, invincible, to use President Putin's term, and he says it basically has unlimited range. What's your analysis when we hear something like that? Because I know he makes those comments facing his own kind of political pressures at home. He's up for re-election, right? Well, these are all interesting capabilities that he talked about, and I don't know how credible any one of them are. And I got to see the video just as you did, and, and beyond the animation, um, uh, it's hard to say just how credible they are. Uh, but uh, when we take stock of uh, the overall nuclear capabilities that the Russians have and, and that the uh, United States have, um, we really have to base our uh, uh, strategic stability against uh, what we know and the capabilities that are proven. And uh, with regard to both the way the United States looks at Russia and Russia looks at us, I think there's strategic stability uh, with both countries. Now, these are destabilizing capabilities if they are credible. And when it comes to strategic deterrence, it's all about credibility and perception. So um, interesting capabilities, but it really doesn't change the strategic stability between the two nations today. Right, and nothing would, right? There's nothing there that would change this for, for decades and decades. We've always had our own deterrent to the Russian capabilities, and we've always known about those Russian capabilities. So this would make it a much different situation than, say, you know, North Korea, for example. Well, uh, that's true. But I think the most um, concerning thing that came out of the speech was that Putin continues to rattle his nuclear saber as right. he has uh, starting in Ukraine. Ukraine, he threatened others uh, to stand by while he uh, invaded and then took uh, Crimea, leveraging his nuclear weapons. And he also, he's threatened Denmark with regard to uh, Denmark supporting NATO missile defense. He threatened Turkey and Syria when he, uh, Turkey and uh, Saudi Arabia when he began his activities in Syria. And he runs very aggressive West, uh, exercises uh, in the face of NATO, threatening the Baltics and, and even Sweden, who's not a member of NATO, but they also are, are uh, very cautious about challenging him. So. Uh, the fact that he continues to leverage his nuclear arsenal in order to maneuver on the political stage right. um, should be a concern to everybody. I, I mentioned at the outset, for people who don't know, he is up for, for re-election. To put it mildly, I think it's fair to say that uh, Mr. Putin is a favorite uh, for another six-year term, the way the Russian uh, political system works. But that is a, kind of a backdrop to all this. But to your point, he continues to make these threats, whether he's up for re-election or not. So are we doing, as the United States, enough to counter that either on this or on the other topic that's been talked about much more that could be a, a threat to our national security as well, which is cyber and the Russian um, meddling in our elections. Well, these strategic capabilities to include cyber uh, make um, deterrence a, a very challenging uh, quantity that needs to be preserved. And uh, the fact that He's, he does have very aggressive cyber capabilities, just as the Chinese have those capabilities, and frankly, the North Koreans have those capabilities as well. So, uh, you know, you've got, we've got challenges with uh, nuclear capabilities in the Pacific. We've got uh, challenges with the way uh, Russia continues to talk uh, and manifest threats to the West and now specifically to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, uh, a very uh, challenging time right. for our country and for the world when you, it comes to preserving stability and getting beyond rhetoric. Do you have confidence, you know, the criticism of this current administration has been, it hasn't been tough enough on Russia. What is your level of confidence that that is the case, that they're doing enough? Well, uh, the, even the systems that he unveiled the other day, uh, some of which uh, I hadn't read much about uh, right. myself, but, but as he brings, uh, as he brings those, those capabilities to the fore, 
um, you know, he's, he's designed those and justified those against missile defense. The United States doesn't have the capacity to do a national missile defense at this time, and we haven't had it for quite some time. So uh, even his justification for having these capabilities really doesn't wash against what the United States uh, currently has. So I don't think the United States has been provocative Right. Um, to justify what Putin has done. And I think that when we look at trying to preserve stability at the high end, I think the United States uh, has answered every challenge that Putin uh, would, uh, has, has presented okay. to us. And uh, these are not uh, subjects that need to be trifled with, and it seems like he's throwing these things around awfully casually yeah, right now. Absolutely. General, good to see you. General Austin, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you very much. All right.